so hi there back again to our, our youtube channel and uh, today without wasting much time we are going to show you how to do uh, physical bullets uh, from your gun tip in our previous videos we have seen how to shoot and uh, how to have a procedural recoil system and uh, so today we are going to see how to shoot uh, physical bullets from our gun as you can see when i shoot there is a physical bullets yellow line coming which will uh, uh, shoot in a particular direction and uh, there is some bug in my game but uh, uh, it will work fine for you and as you can see and you can uh, use uh, different models and uh, good uh, good effects and good quality of weapon to make it look professional and uh, that's all i just uh, want to show you how this mechanism works and uh, it's very useful and without wasting much time let's see how this is done and uh, Let's get started. Before getting started with the uh, scripting part, uh, so let me just show you how first our bullet is uh, set up. So as you can see, I have a prefab name, uh, any random name, you can name it whatever you want. I have a small uh, uh, sphere as you can see here, which I just uh, made it as you can see, this is just a small sphere. And it has a main thing for the trail part is that uh, as you can see the yellow line when, it, when I move this, is a component named trail render as you can see here you can just go add component and add a uh, trail renderer uh, you can see here you can add just this and uh, do your uh, adjustment uh, just to your liking to make it thin make it wide or how much longer the tail should be you can just do the adjustment from here and uh, that's with the trail renderer and uh, and it also has a bullet script which will describe that it is a bullet and how this will work when we shoot so let me just uh, uh, show you how this uh, bullet script works uh, let's open the scripting part here so uh, just this uh, if you just see this the bullet part this just cons consists of a target uh, which will assign uh, when we uh, do the shoot function uh, as you can know uh, I did a shooting script before so um, let me get back to shoot scripts just for a few seconds here so when we just do the shooting part we just in instantiate this uh, as a game object and just assign it to a target so as you can see we are just assigning a target to the point which the recast hit and return the value <clears throat> and we are just setting its uh, target value just by assigning it using a public function name set target which is uh, written in bullet script so again uh, let's get uh, uh, to see how this bullet script is written so first of all it consists of a vector 3 type uh, variable which is named target and a float variable which uh, defines the bullet speed <coughs> and uh, a void function which is a public function which is used to set target it takes a parameter of vector 3 and it has a name t you can name whatever you want and whenever this function is called it will set this bullet's target to whatever we have assigned through the parameter in other in another scripts so for every frame it, it just keeps on checking whether it's the distance between the game object and the target which we are setting it is less than uh, 0.5 uh, fm is it is a its values like 0.5 uh, distance so if it if it's less than the object gets destroyed and uh, if it's not it will just uh, keep on moving towards there is a f uh, function name um, vector 3 dot move towards which is used to move an object uh, uh, towards a particular target which we can set in transform dot position just tells us about its original position uh, which is the current position and the target which we set through and the uh, bullet speed into time dot delta time is the rate at which it will move towards and we are setting this to its transform dot position so whenever the f every frame when it is called this bullet will just keep on moving towards the target it's its own target which we set through this public function set target which we are calling through the shooter script as you can see vector 3 or set target see like that in shooter script first we are instantiating a game object named bullet which consists the bullet script uh, that's basically that the spherical object which i showed you with the trail rendering and we store it as as a variable named b 
and we are just getting it's a bullet script component as you can see here vector 3.get component bullet and after getting the script component we are just setting the public function set target to hit dot point which is the recasts hit position and that's all so whenever we just uh, click it will instantiate this uh, uh, component which consists of the bullet script which will set its target to the recast hit position and every frame it will just keeps on moving until its distance is uh, between the target and its current distance is less than 0 0.5 and that's all for the scripting part and it's actually pretty useful uh, in uh, many areas and uh, that's all as you can see I have uh, put it in my AR uh, shooting script here uh, bullet and you also have to uh, wait let me show you you have to add a game object named bullet so that you can assign that uh, bullet variable this bullet variable which uh, we created this bullet variable and uh, just assign this uh, bullet uh, game object to the AR bullet uh, variable part this area and uh, that's all when we will hit play and uh, if we, if we hit a target this raycast will hit a target it will instantiate a bullet and it set and will set its position to the hit point so as you can see see this bullet is moving towards and whenever it uh, reaches the its distance it gets destroyed see and it has uh, many applications you can do many things with this uh, you can do last check that if the object hits something it will do some explosion or anything it will have some bullet effect and it makes your game looks uh, look good also just uh, it's better than just uh, shooting in uh, air that's all for today i hope you like this video and uh, hope you got what i want to say and that's all thanks for watching see you soon bye